Hey folks, I'm in Historic Park, Mountain View, California. Right here is one of the oldest buildings in California. A little history right there next to the Rain Store uh, House. They call it a house now, but back in the day, they used to call it a mansion. Uh, we're gonna check it out. Uh, recently, the wood came from San Cruz Mountains from Redwood and uh, was moved over here, but uh, there's a map that explains where, where it used to be. Um, nice little park, uh, look, there's like a bunch of, you know, tables, picnics here, not really a picnic area, but tables, uh, bench to sit on. And on the back side there is a little, uh, community garden, or the urban garden, whatever you want to call it. So I forget what, what year this thing was built, but there's a little plaque I'll tell you what year. Uh, lucky there's no kids here, so I'm like a creepy old man. Uh, me come here, the only parking there is, is, um, street parking on Ringsdorf. And that sign right there has been like that for years. No trespassing, no worrying, no kidding. A little paranoid. I don't, really don't know, I never seen anybody go in and out, I never seen those cars move. For years, so. But you'd be a sign right there. We're complaining about the high price of rent, but the sign's gone. But yeah, he's, he's very serious. Go trick or treating there, get shot maybe. Yeah, Christ Street used to be a little shopping center. Used to be a liquor store. There's a donut shop, Mexican restaurant. Used to be a you know metro store, but it's gone. So once again, um, when you come here, there's a drinking fountain, no bathroom. There's no place to hide to take a dump or pee. Oh, and we're in a sports little place, um, if you like. Yep. And they have these little things to explain about the trees. So when they're building this, I thought they were going to build some like a million dollar apartments or something in the thing I can't afford. And you walk around, they're going to explain about the trees and what they planted here. So, yeah, little trail. All right. We'll, we'll, discuss, we'll discuss more about this. Okay, folks? Here's a little thing for you. You know, the Mexican and Grand, owned by Mr. Castro. Castro ex, uh, family, they have a street downtown Mountain View. Castro Street, that's the name of the family. Uh, Brainstorm on oh, good amount land here. There you go, my little history. But most of this place was mostly orchard. Fruits. Nuts. Any field to kind of tell us the little. Actually, uh, Fremont is now a city across the bay. Uh, Mountain View, there's no longer Risman. Those things is now the street named Risman. So that Mountain View, a little ways down, is kind of Mountain View. But most of it's orchard. Mayfield, that's gone. It used to be a Tango Mayfield, I guess. That's gone. That, that's more like Palo Alto. So very much this area right here is mostly Palo Alto now. And it kind of tells a little map of Mountain View. I was born and raised in Mountain View. In Los Altos most of my life. And that's what it looks like in 1865. During the beginning of the Civil, Civil War. So this mostly was a uh, field. The rain store had a huge uh, warehouse where he's a plant, you know, like uh, people will ship their, um, from the Sunco Valley or the Sacramento Valley, they used to ship their stuff to the rain store. Um, they used to have this huge warehouse. The uh, rain store house is still there. It's supposed to be haunted, like everything else. There is this little thing to be haunted, stuck with the ghosts. So it's kind of really it's kind of like the maybe ten meter area. Uh, living in Santa Clara um, uh, County it was really nice. There's a lot of parks. They do a lot of things for the kids. I give them that much credit. So I'm going to check this here. Take a little placard a little ways. So yeah, there's a water tower in the house. Can't really go in the house, but they, they show you like uh, some stuff. What it looked like. It's not really a this is not really a place you go, you know, lay down a blanket. 
but it's, it's kind of nice. You have the little community garden, a little ways over there, and then growing some stuff. And there's a bee, a little beehive going on on the left. So you come here once again, have to you know, a little point by the plants over here. And you go to the little shack right, go to the little shack right, right there. There's a tool to explain the next time they hang something. It's mostly volunteer work. They're growing something. I always see some growing weed. Help the community a lot more. So very much, uh, these people are from Germany. Here, here by against immigrants. With the reason why this country came, you know, way it is now, because immigrants. You know what I mean? Without them, who knows what. Our history would change. Jimmy and Carl and women. We got the kids. I know it's like Carl and Amy. Turn to Carl and Carl. Uh, you put the um, star scale film mode is visible in the background. Yeah. Not sure if it's the original one or they recreate this. Good chance it's the recreation of the not the original one. I know, but the very last standing at the original location behind the original that the Portland purchased in 1936 from the G company. Yeah, these things are gone. So well, here's the large way it looked like. But this was not the house. This is a different location. I didn't use field to use it in the house behind me, didn't use this a different location downtown. Um now I'm doing trying to explain about the wire thing. Like when it is and stuff. When we were Oh yeah. I'm just gonna take the air one something now and go up the camera. So this is what the house looks like recently. East beyond um where was it? Uh, six, 166 Bright Street. And there's a handwriting note. Teacher, some kind of teacher. It's like, um Dear teacher, was the uh this handwriting note from George Marcoli of the English language teacher when he moved into this place in 1926. I bet he found this middle step somewhere. So this is where it used to be. Right here. Central Expressway, a little bit downtown, Villa. Yeah, because this would be downtown Mountain View. It used to be like, you know, old farmland. You can see barns, it's kind of weird to see a barn. And you see church, um, the church, and always down from the church is the, go right around this area right here is the um, graveyard, used to be a graveyard location. But uh, the dear teacher, I'm sorry I cannot come to school this week. I am moving. I will be coming back next week. And at least it worked out. So the original location, it moved here. But what year was it? It was uh, located in 166 Bryce Street. It was built in the 1880s with the uh, redwood from Santa Cruz Mountains and restore mostly style in the 1920s. So it kind of like changed their shape over the years. And then right over here, this is one of the oldest buildings in Mountain View. You don't find too much stuff surviving after, you know, in the 18th century. Up to the windows and there's a little see a bunch of countries, you see towns. Some like you know China, those like Germany, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh Iceland, that could be Iceland, Italy, Mexico, Japan. God, it's hard to know these shakes man, they're not attached to my map. What year this was because the shins was especially for right here. Yeah, the downtown Mountain View, real ways, Bella. Yay. I don't know if this building may be still there. Bush Street. 
Yeah, I'm not open to the public. Yeah. Immigrant house. I guess they call it the immigrant house. Part of the grant from the CJ Sarah Clara Park Resolution Department C3 Tertiary Grant Program funded by the Friends of Immigrant House. I guess a bunch of immigrants. I guess a bunch, I guess, um, don't come like immigrants. Like Everton. That kind of cold, kind of shows you inside. I think this is like somebody's bedroom. Small little bed, got a little kitchen, stove, little pee thing to pee into, shaving. But I don't have to show but we can create an outhouse. <laughs> kind of nice. So yeah, 166, um, that used to be right there, used to be red, or they changed over the years, I don't know why you paint it white. But a few. A little ways to war. I'll go back down and read a little bit of what's going on over there. I'm just gonna walk up here. Yeah, the kitchen area. Everything. No ghosts. I don't see no ghosts in here. Hello, ghosts. Come out. Yeah. I guess it's like the original uh, wallpaper, or they put it for that era. Lock. Can't steal things. And I got a stove, old fashioned stove. More right angle of it. Yeah, you can see the stuff back in the day. Wallpaper. Stuff to this, you know. Once again, Mountain View was mostly. Well, we did have a train station. So a lot of people came here. And rain store. The train will come down here and load up the trains with his uh, you know, fruits and whatever the buyers or whatever we give them. Yeah, as far away as Sacramento, go down where and then they sit all the stuff to, um, to uh, San Francisco. San Francisco was a crazy town back in the day. Right now we're approaching the urban garden. You guys know about urban. Yeah, is there a pop out everywhere now in like towns like different places that are pop out? Or you see those little tiny like uh, libraries. The only thing this place is, doesn't really have is um is a bathroom, so I don't really hide your feet. Once again there's not really much place to lay down a picnic. So things you guys can sit down. And so here's some stuff. Growing. No weed. Weed's we okay now. Remember how almost people come here try to pick the food for themselves. Let's go like a uh, fur crow. They look too happy. I wouldn't disturb them. Just kind of laugh at them. It's kind of like a fur crow from the visual laws. You're not scary at all. I'm not sure if wrong. Welcome to our community space. And some checking the series and stuff. Yeah. So we got these uh, gentlemen right here. I got a commission to film them, they said. You know, film them. They're doing a beehive right here. Kind of cool. Got little bees. They were more active last time I was here. It was much warmer days. It was much cooler, so. So right now they're just communicating with each other with the next place to go or sorry? Looks like they're trying to communicate with each other with with the go. Kinda like they're a little move or a language they thing. Oh uh, I, I mean I mean they have their little move case and they, they go around, they tell you the rest of their friends where to go. Kinda like that or Okay. Good night. So when they leave, okay. They'll go out and up. All right. And the bees will go up to about 15 to 20 feet. Mm -hmm. And that's where they normally fly. Okay. Unless they find a source of nectar. Drop down. Mm -hmm. Now, if you try not to stay in front of them. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll... 
Okay, I understand. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying to make a living. They're trying to live. Yeah, they're. I hate them. Okay. Just hanging out on their little front porch. Just hang out, you know. And then they'll take off, you see them take off and go up. Okay. And then they'll climb down. So that's why we can have the fence like this and we can have it yeah. open and people can walk up and look at the lines. Oh. Okay. Well, I used to work at Shoreline. We used to have massive uh, those uh, harness nests. Oh. I, I mean, I, I, think the seat, I used to pick the seat there. I used to, I used to, pick the seat there, I used to like, reach around and just tap the seat, make sure they're not broken. And my hands got into a whole horror's nest. That was not a good feeling. Yeah, look at it. They're looking good. They're hanging out. But these do. Thank you guys for your time. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they're doing their thing. So my grandpa in Maine used to have his own uh, hive in Maine. My uh, brother-in-law has his own hive in here in the Sacramento area. Kind of cool. Thank, thank you guys. Have a good day. But when, you know, when you're about to film people, always ask permission first. You know, most people are really cool about it, but they don't want to be filmed. They don't want to be filmed, not respected, and I go on merry way. So this is pretty much the whole kind of area. Come check it out. A whole bunch of, you know, clean up yourself. Once again, there's no bathrooms, parking's on the street. Um, take a little bit of history. I mean, once again, I mean, the problem with the Sarah Claire Bessie Mountain View, there's not much stuff that's been around for more than 100 and something since the Civil War. So a lot of things get, you know, moved or pared down or somewhat. So I'm gonna check this little placard out over here. There's a hook, not the historic side. So uh, free free, a like, comment. Uh, talk about your community. Tell me about what kind of cool stuff at your place. You know, best East Coast. I want to hear about stuff in the East Coast. What kind of cool old stuff you guys have. Alright. You know, once again, you know, here's the one last look of it. I mentioned the little thing. And mostly Mountain View was a train station. It was mostly, you know, these have uh, ferries that come down before they built the trains. Before the trains came along, um, they used to transfer a lot of stuff on ferries to uh, San Francisco. And the, when the train, when the, they built the, the train, the tra tracks for the trains, uh, that kind of stopped that and made it. But back in the day, you know, it was much easier to travel by water than land until the trains came along. That's how things are, you know, like dinosaurs, you know, something glass, something you know, don't last. But it's good to know your history. At least know your history where you come from. And respect it. It's very nice. You go to these places, clean after yourself, clean after your dogs. <laughs> and, all right? Bye. So, so over here is uh, the community thing it kind of tells you. Works beginning February first. Or said the community thing. In the house. Nice little plan to go where. And originally, oh, there's some beekeepers.